Hello friends, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. Last day we discussed about the for loop concept. In this video, we are going to discuss about another loop, that is the for in loop. Right? So loop is actually using to execute a block of code repeatedly until a certain condition. Right? So there are several loops, for loop, for in loop, for of loops, while, to while and each loops. Right? So in this video, we are going to discuss about only for in loop okay so for in statement a loop through the properties of an object right suppose if i just going to see the structure of for in loop actually this is the key in and the object okay so loop through the properties of an object and this is the part where we can write our code Okay, so let's create an object first so that you can understand with a real example. So create let student equal to just create an object. Suppose I just write a name equal to something like John and uh, email uh, equal to something John at the rate email dot com and next age suppose 20. Okay, so this is the one student. Now, I want to print other things using the for in loop. Okay, so this is actually object. So simply just write for and just write let x. This is the dynamic variable. Using this, we can uh, distinguish other things. So in and what is the object name? Student. Okay, so I will uh, traverse all the records from the student and store it into the x. Okay, so simply write console dot log and x so if you just refresh you will get name email age okay so this is the key part and if you just going to print this thing into the third bracket you will get the value part john john email and 20 now if i just going to print the name equal to john email equal to john at that email age equal to 20 how we can do this so we know the template literally in concept so we just simply need to concatenate okay so simply inside the x we are getting the property x equal to dollar and here write student x if you refresh so name equal to john email equal to john at the rate email dot com age 20 so if you understand the logic you can play with that right so this is the cool things now let's uh, use uh, this foreign loop with some numbers or with some arrays okay so let's create a uh, numbers this is the array and here i just write um, 10 20 30 40 50 there are five elements okay now if i just going to use and want to print the number uh, using the foreign loop how you can do this so simply write for and here it will be in and here i just write let i in the numbers so this is the array name actually it, it will not only work on other object it will work on the arrays also right so simply console dot log and simply print the i okay not i i will print the key so you need to print the value so simply write i now refresh this you will get the first thing is actually appearing for this and for here 10 20 30 40 it's getting from here simple concept so this is the foreign loop concept and it is small concept but its impact is great so still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we are going to discuss about the for of loop right so this is another type of rule so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye